wearing a white top for less than um, 10 minutes and I've already got foundation on it. That's going great. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel guys, so if you guys don't know who I am, my name is Chanel and I love to create videos with makeup, all things beauty related. I also like to make some travel videos, if you guys haven't seen those before, but mainly it's just kind of a full on chapter into my life. So I just kind of create stuff for people to watch. Not many people watch it, but I just thought today we'll just do a little chit chat, get ready with me and just kind of give you guys more info as to who I am and why I'm kind of existing. And we'll do a little makeup look and I was just feeling something kind of fresh because summer's kind of hitting Melbourne soon. Yesterday it was like 35 degrees, which was super hot. Um, so that's actually a spring day for us. It's not even summer yet, but when we say spring, it's pretty much summer. So I'll just be doing like a little summer-ish video. I didn't have time to straighten the locks. So the curls are out today. I'm looking a bit bushy, <laughs> but we'll just go with it and do a little bit of a chit chat makeup tutorial. Just before you do begin, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and chit chat with me down below and let me know what you guys think of the journey so far in the beauty world and everything that I kind of have done so far, I don't know, we'll just get into it. So to begin with, I'm going to use the Ole Henriksen Primer. This is the Banana Bright Primer. I was super obsessed with this for actually quite some time and then I got off it because it hit winter um, and now summer's coming back so I'll definitely be using this again so I thought why not bring out the Banana Bright Primer primer and just start using it again it's actually really really good um, it's super hydrating so it's great for dry skin girls like me or you so, um, if you have oily skin maybe stay away from this one but it's perfect for those dehydrated desert summer that's going to be coming soon in Melbourne if you don't know already I'm from Australia where it's always hot well not really but when summer hits it's so hot like it reaches crazy 40 degree weather um, and we live in Melbourne so it's quite metro we don't get as hot here um, like Queensland or it still gets really really hot here in the summer so your skin is gonna suffer also I love soy iced caramel lattes if you don't know already so I'm gonna apply this on my face Oh yeah, and this is the second one I purchased and for some reason I got the stoop pump that never works. So I could be here for like 20 minutes just trying to pump this. Love that. Yep, still waiting. I think this is also the reason why I stopped using it because I was just doing this. Oh, hallelujah, I work. Finally, I should probably go to Sephora and let them know about that, but I can't be bothered. Just gonna apply that. I love putting a $54 for a dollar primer on my face when the pump doesn't work. Oh, love, that's amazing. Makes me so happy. Thanks, Sephora, and thank you, Ole Hemrickson, who will probably never see this video. Okay, so. Foundations I am currently super super into at the moment is the new Urban Decay Naked Weightless Liquid Foundation. It's, it has a really long hold. I wouldn't say 24 hours like it claims, but this, if I wear this at 6 a.m. in the morning and go to work, it will last me all day and my skin won't patch up and I find that everything stays in place. So it's a super, super good foundation, but it's not 24 hour wear and it's not full coverage. So we're not gonna be covering up the pimples and the acne scars, but it's gonna do a lot for our skin. I just spot conceal on the areas that it doesn't cover. But honestly, the long lasting factor to it really does make you just keep leaning towards it. I mean, personally for me, and the color range is super good. And the color I got really, really matches my skin at the moment. Um, I might need to go up a couple of shades for summer, 
but at the moment it's really well and really working for me so I'm really enjoying that and I have the shade 51 WY it's just a really nice color tone match for me and I'm actually enjoying it so um, I like to use a brush and I'm gonna use the Morphe N6 brush to put that on my face so anyone that is new to my channel um, I I've been, I was like, who's talking a little bit? Is this the bathroom? I have been a makeup artist for over five or six years now, like pro makeup artist for five or six years. Before this, I was studying makeup, and before that, I was super, super into makeup, but stud studying fashion at the time. So before I got into makeup in the makeup industry, I was studying fashion was a very different time in life and then things happen personal things and I quit and then was super into makeup so I decided to pursue a makeup career did a diploma became qualified worked in the retail industry for a long time and hated it editorial photo shoots makeup freelanced also loved freelancing but I hurt my back in a car accident which makes it really hard to freelance full-time as an income so I have a regular nine to five job now that I have and then makeup is kind of like my passion that I work on on the side that's just kind of what I have to do because you know got to pay, pay the bills right so yeah I still love doing makeup but I don't have clients like I used to focus on before so next we're gonna use my age rewind concealer uh, this concealer has been around since the dawn of time and it's honestly one of the best ha, 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 ha. and it's been around for a long time um, it's just a really good concealer and it's affordable and just I'm gonna apply that. Who doesn't like an affordable concealer that covers shape, right? So I'm just going to pop that here. Oh, yep, also got it in my hair. That's lovely. And I'm still gonna buff out with my brush because I don't know. I feel like we're living a world of beauty blenders where everyone's like, yeah, blend, blend, blend. I only use a beauty blender. Forgetting about the tools that was given to them in the beginning of the beauty blender. I'm gonna use a Fenty Beauty Match Stick. This is the shade Mocha. It's not the perfect color for my contour, but it works when I want a lighter contour and I don't want to wear anything crazy. I'm gonna use something I haven't actually used. Oh, I don't know. I bought this, the Huda Beauty. Easy Bake Loose Powder. I swear to God, it's been sitting in my drawer for a good six weeks. I don't know why I haven't used it. I just feel like I'm not a fan of um, people that copy other brands, like actual campaigns. But I heard so much about this powder and I was like, oh, I'll buy it. And then I just like was like, should I do a video versing like Beauty Bakery versus Huda Beauty? But the problem is getting Beauty Bakery in Australia is annoying because like it's only online. So then I didn't bother and it just sat in the drawer like this. So maybe we'll try it today. So this is it here. I got the shade Banana Bread. Let's give it a go today on the channel. So this is it here. It has a sponge thing here okay yeah so I'm gonna apply this it has that perfumey smell she always has in, in all of her stuff Seren hates that wow this is perfumey off the bat this is so perfumey I'm not vibing with it I don't like when my powders smell like perfume because it literally goes up your nostrils and what the hell is this sponge thing like no is coming out of it like this is not a banana shade this is more like a um, light banana I wear like deep ones 
This feels like translucent powder. It smells like her setting spray and her foundation mixed together. You said it give it like perfume, but how come you like that short or that heavy yeah, setting but spray? I like the setting spray because it lasts all day. Like you I put it on, the Jeffree Star one, yeah. but the Jeffree Star one's less pungent. And I like that because it smells like strawberries. And that also makes me make up last all day. But this one, like, super strong hold. You know? So, um, like, I know how you hate fragrance in your shit. No, I don't hate it. It's very softly milled, which I don't mind. Like, so it's been softly grained, um, or sifted, if that's what you want to call it. This, it's, the concept is cute, but I feel like it's been ripped off by Beauty Bakery, which is not nice. Don't like that. That's kind of rude. But anyways, I paid $50 for it, so why not try it? So I don't keep on my powder for long because I, mm, I don't know, don't like that cake look. So I'm just going to remove that. <laughs> Can you hear her talking shit about me in the background? Did you say you don't like the cake look? Yeah, I mean, when has my makeup ever looked cakey? Oh, you're bitching me about you want tan. <laughs> English is my second language. Huh. The Huda Beauty um, 3D highlighter palette. Because I haven't used this and I spent so much money on it, you know? I'm going to use the bronzer. Although the bronzer, the one time I tried it, I wasn't a fan. It was a bit like, but let's try it. Sometimes you need to try some products like two more times before you like it. Yep. Nope, that patchy shit's happening again. Yep, that's why I stopped using this shit. Why is it why is my forehead glowing right now? Oh god, yeah. It's like um like a shimmer to that. Are you joking? This is a bronzer. Anyways, moving on, <laughs> accepting it, it is what it is. Going with Maldives, and I'm ready. that in, and then I'm going to go help my sister do her tan, and then I'm going to come back to, on the camera. You do that because I think it's silly. I don't really contour Xenos, but uh, I get a bit interested. Be uh, Chanel and be extra. Here and here. When you apply bronzer here, it slings out the nose straight away. Such a great illusion. I'm going in with the Jeffree Star uh, setting spray. This one is super hydrating. It feels nice on the skin without being like cakey. And the mist isn't like suffocating you when you apply it, so it's just. I'm gonna use the Colourpop palette I got a long time ago. Not long time ago. I don't know. There's just a bunch of shades. <laughs> I just did my sister's turn and I turn around and she's just airing it all out and I can see everything. I'm gonna grab the Kim Kardashian palette that I reviewed recently and you guys seem to like that one. So I'm gonna use the shade 20 which is this one here. These shadows are actually really pretty. They're nice matte, no fallout. I think my go-to type of smoky and my eye looks are always quite bronze because I think that matches me a lot. When I do my brows I actually don't like, I colour my brows in, but I don't like them dark and I don't like them insta brows. They're just kind of like normal brows, but coloured in. It's preference though, because I have like super large brows. I'm going to go into the California Love Palette by Colourpop Cosmetics. I feel like going in with the shade Mission. So 
then let's test Serene. Let's see if she knows why I got into makeup. No, no, Jay. What? No. What do you think? What like? What do you think was the first time I ever like really got into makeup? I feel like I got into her after I was 18 because I was never allowed to wear makeup and then I discovered makeup when I turned 18 because that's when I was allowed to wear it, which is crazy, right? Turkish parents. Anyways, and then I just kind of experimented and that's when I really, really started playing around with makeup and like getting really into it. <laughs> Uh, it was really funny when I told my dad I'm gonna pursue makeup and not do a degree. Lol. And that was a very interesting conversation. Let's just say it didn't go down well. <laughs> no, seriously. Turkish parents are the strictest and then. My dad never liked makeup. So when I decided to pursue it, it was amazing. We just had so much fun. We, yeah, we really liked each other's company. <laughs> At that point, um, what can I say? Love that. <laughs> so it makes what I'm talking about. Okay, so yeah. And now he asked me to um, make it look like he has teeth, so <laughs> he still doesn't know what I do. Thinks I'm halfway a dentist and a um, magician. Should I be like crazy and do some glitter? Let's lay down this ColourPop color two birds, one stone. <laughs> Two birds and stone, is that what they say? I don't know what that even means, really. What does that even mean? But um, I want to grab that paint pot by Tarte again and just kind of lay that down. Just crease that up. Yeah, so back to my combo, that's how I got into makeup. And then I pursued my diploma study for you uh, apply to all these different beauty counters got them did them hated it <laughs> freelance realized I was too broke to freelance um, I have my regular nine to five job and then I just do makeup for passion That's how I got into makeup. If you guys wanted to know, YouTube was a way for me to get over being so like awkward and shy. But um, I'm still all of those things. Ha ha ha. Which is great for my um, self confidence. I think I've gotten better over time with the camera though. Like, I don't give a shit anymore. Especially like when Zedan's listening and she's just talking shit and laughing. I don't care anymore. Like, bitch, you do you. You hate. This is like my jam, you know, those brown tones. I always wear them. I'm gonna go glitter crazy as well. So, grabbing this gold shade, two birds, one stone. JK, I just keep adding that. Let's have a coffee break. Oh, that's such a nice shade. Wow, like it. Like it. Honestly, ColourPop is just one of my favorite, favorite brands. Like, how can they have such quality products at such affordable prices? All their color stories are amazing. Caters to everyone. They have foundations, bronzes, even skincare. Like, they are just killing it. One brand I've always wanted to work with, it's definitely Colourpop. I'm just kind of blending out this bit here. Blend it out with a different colour, but let's just pop on the other side. 
the formulation of this is so pretty. This is all of the pressed shadows and I'm really impressed. Okay, let's lay down a glitter shade from this Spicy Mummy palette. I'm gonna grab this chunkier glitter. Um, what is it called? Ah! I'm gonna grab this kind of like holographic glitter called Hungry. Bleh, called Hungry. How pretty is that? It's just got some like green gold reflex in it. It's gonna look really pretty. Who wants a lash video? Let me know. So, just want to enhance the inners. I'm going to grab black liner actually. Wasn't going to do a wing, but I'm just like fucking now. Let's do one. Yellow. Yellow. doing my makeup I noticed that like something went super gray on my face after I'd done the eyeliner so I went back had a look it felt like it was this powder <sighs> I feel like it was something just went off I don't know if it was a powder or if it was this shit palette I literally had to wipe it all off and do it again make it look more normal it just I don't know this palette is so shit guys don't waste your money on this like, honestly not worth it just makes you have like a grey cast. Anyway, so I had to fix that up. We're just going to do the lip. And then we're done. But yeah, this is the look that I have on so far. It's really kind of just like my type of style, the type of eye look that I'd wear if I was going out. Just very like dramatic, like my life. <laughs> um, So I'm going to use the KKW Beauty uh, 90s Cheek Lip Liner, which is this one here. I like it for a nice nude lip. I'm a nude, nude type of gal. I don't line all of my lip, just a little bit. And then I grab a nice nude lipstick. I like this Becca one. Uh, Becca or Morphe. I'll do Becca. So this Becca, Chloe Love Malika. Actually, really pretty, even though it's like you know, then that bought this, did this collab. I don't know, I just really like it. It's actually such a nice nude. This is the finished look, chit chat, get ready with me, makeup look. It's really good if you're going out. I don't know. I just was creating and this is what happened. This is what always happens with my makeup. It always goes dark and crazy and very me. So, hope you guys have enjoyed this kind of chit chat, get ready with me video. Um, and just to know a little bit more about me and get to know me. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this and I'll see you guys in the next one. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you guys next time. Bye now.